All right. All right, quick video, guys. As you guys know, these are 18650 cells. They're among the most popular cells, lithium battery cells in the world, right? And because they're so popular, I've made a whole system of PCBs to hold them, to put them together. So these PCBs ship like this, and then uh, they ship also like this with all the stuff already populated. And then when you populate them, it's just as easy as putting these cells in here. Um, and so a lot of you guys are doing that, but it's very useful to use one of these little tools. This is a bat go, battery go uh, BG8S. And this, what this will allow you to do is to see individual cell voltages, right? And so the problem has been that it's been kind of hard to connect these to the boards. They're two different connectors. And we haven't had a cable that um, is useful. So what we'd have to do is use a bunch of these connectors, which is the ribbon cable, and then do another type of connector that can connect into that. And then that goes from the ribbon, and then you'd have to solder a bunch of these little ones in here to another type of connector that goes in here. It's a bit of a mess uh, for people that know how to solder and can understand a simple uh, diagrams uh, and schematics. This is not the end of the world, but it's still quite a bit of work, right? It's, it's, it's work. And so that's the reason why we haven't offered them and stuff. I, I was looking for something that I can offer you guys so that it's easier and you don't have to solder and make your own cable. Um, and so I think that day is here because I was able to find this one right here. And this connector will work. Let me tell you, let me show you how this works. Right? So let's say you're populating this using one of our two cells that we have that are offered. This is the M36, and then this is the NCR1850B. Um, so you're populating this. What you need is that ribbon connector that you're gonna get with your boards, right? To connect multiple of these boards together. And then, then what you do is you connect this cable one side onto the back go, and then the other one goes right on here. And the cool thing about this is that those pins are the exact same pins that are found in these connectors. They're the same size, and so they will go in there, they won't damage the pins. And so that's the cool thing about this, right? Um, so then what you do is you start populating this and this will start showing you the voltage of your cells. So if there's any cells that are not right or they're different than the rest of them, then you'll be able to pick them up. So here's where you go. You start populating on the number one is the cell closest to the connector, right? Pop it in there and it takes at least two cells to power this. So the first one won't do anything, but then the second one, then this guy comes on. And that tells you the voltages. Now, if this doesn't happen, what you can do is just, that means you probably have this backwards, so what you have to do is take that cable, flip it around, reconnect it, and then, and then get it. If you have it backwards, uh, I think it's fine. I haven't burned any of these guys before, and so I think you should be fine, right? So, then what you do is you keep populating those, right? And then now it shows you the third cell. So then you grab the other cell. Populated. There we go. There's the fourth one. Fifth one. Sixth one. Seventh one. There we go. So they're all pretty even, about 11 millivolts difference. This is a good board. And then you can populate the other side. These, I will put a link to these and these guys on this video. I've ordered a bunch of them. We will carry them on Jack 35. But for now, I'm just gonna give you the link where you can get them yourself from China, from the place that I am going to get them, right? And so there you go. You uh, you can start using the Batco to be able to populate these and it helps a lot in identifying cells that might be weak, that might be different in, in voltages because when you build these ones, it helps if they're all the same voltage. So. 
Of course, what do you do with these? You know, just as an example. Um, well, the, these are also, if you don't wanna do go through the trouble of these, we're, we're doing this for you. And we're offering these guys already pre-populated using the two types of cells that we have access to, right? And they come in two versions. This is the double-sided one, the HP or high power version of the board. This has a 15 amp fuse and it will do 200 watts. All right, this will do 200 watts. This one will do 100 watts output, about four or five amps, right? And this is the single-sided one. And what you can do is then you can take those and start building battery packs sort of like this one here. This is a one, two, three, four, five boards and a BMS uh, capable of 1200 or about 60 amps on this one. And then uh, uh, the ribbon usually that you get has two extra connectors here. Uh, one is gonna be for the BMS and the other one's going to be for the state of charge. And so in this particular version here, then you could just take this one. This right here is an ammo can that you can get at Costco and it comes in two pack, comes with the bigger one and then with this one, right? And so this one's particularly in a perfect size to put five of these in here. And all you do is just drop it in there. Boom. Uh, you could put screws if you wanted to in the front over here, right? Or you could just let it sit there. It's not gonna go anywhere. You could um, then put a hole in the, in the cover here and to get the XD90 out, or you could put an extra cable. There's all kinds of things you can do on this one, but you could carry this, it's essentially a little battery box, right, in an ammo can. All right, so this here has 70 cells, 13 watt hours each one, if you use either one, either this one or the other one. Uh, and so this will yield about 910 uh, watt hours just shy of one kilowatt hour of energy right but this is this is very very small and light uh and uh this has a it's a huge amount of battery for this size and this weight so there you go there's another way that you can build a quick battery system if you get them already pre-made so all you have to do is just screw a few of those little things put a uh, you know drill maybe one hole in here uh, and you can quickly put a, uh, a battery system together like this so anyways that's just a quick video to show you how to do this this will be in the in our store pretty soon for now I'll give you the links where you can get them from China all right thank you for watching this video we'll see you guys on the next one bye all right here we go Monday morning we have already received partial shipment uh, we're gonna get pallet racking for all this place here so we can put pallets and store stuff in here. But uh, this is the stuff for the inside. So we're gonna break it up, take it inside. Let me show you here, little walking tour. Two restrooms. I don't know why we need two restrooms, but we got them. Do we have a light? We don't have a light over here. That is not ideal. But here we go. We have a storefront sort of. Uh, we don't really need a storefront, but we have it. But look at all the space. This is where we're gonna set up to do a lot of production work. And this is just one tiny little office here. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, this is all gonna be cool stuff. There we go. All right, the first rack is done. There we go. So I'll go